Hey, it's Mike from 424recording.com. In today's video, we're taking a look at using outboard effects such as the Yamaha SPX90 with a four track cassette recorder such as the Tascam 424 Mark III. One of my patrons, Catface, had suggested a while ago that we do a video on using outboard gear with the 4-track. It took me a while to get around to doing this one, mainly because I was hoping to do this one with Jay, because the specific unit that uh, Catface was asking about was a flanger, and using that on vocals perhaps, or maybe just using outboard gear in general, which is why I decided to do the video, this video on SPX90 and drums. So Catface, this one goes out to you. Basically at the $15 uh, patron level, you get to choose a video for me to make each month on the channel. It's the 424 recording producer level on the Patreon, pretty much the highest level on the Patreon these days. So check it out if you want to, if you have specific videos you definitely want to see and uh, we can make it happen. Yeah, so in this video I use my Yamaha SPX90, well technically it's my buddy Chris's that was stowed away in my uh, rack unit and I'm glad I finally got around to using this piece of gear. The main reason I wanted to get this piece of, my hands on this piece of gear was because I had heard that it was instrumental in uh, the Clouds Taste Metallic, I believe, uh, drum sound of the Flaming Lips, like that huge, boomy, Bonham-esque drum sound. And they discovered this by accident. Uh, engineers like Dave Fridman has a bunch of these units, uh, apparently, on his on his um, studio gear list. So there's something about overdriving the input of this unit that is magical. And that's something I'll get into, hopefully, in another video. So here's the drum sound I was working with, and here's one way to use outboard gear with your Tascam 424 Mark III cassette recorder. Yeah, I used my trusty tube MP. Green wire is the condenser, and then I went out of the um, tube MP into the into the input on the Yamaha SPX90. Blasted the input on the Yamaha, and then I just left it on the initial program, and I changed the balance to 85. Routed that out into the four track. That's the wire coming back from the Yamaha, and then the orange cable is that ribbon microphone over there. Yeah, pretty straightforward though. Pretty pretty cool thing. And I just got my levels where I wanted them, recorded on tracks one and three. Really simple to do, really fun. Do you have an SPX90? Have you ever used it for drum sounds? If you have any uh, recommendations for outboard gear or your favorite uses for an SPX90 or similar, uh, leave us a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing with them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it. Someday I'm going to tackle the SPX90 drum sound of the Flaming Lips, but for now I hope this video is a good substitute. Thank you Catface for inspiring this one and being my patron and suggesting that I make this video. I appreciate you, my friend. I hope this answers uh, some of your questions about outboard gear and the, and the Tascam 424 Mark III. If you have any questions, please hit me up. And I'm gonna be doing more videos on outboard gear in the future. Another another uh, suggestion from, from Catface was uh, using like an outboard compressor on vocals or a flanger on vocals. And that's one we'll definitely get to in the future as well. If you wanna become a 424 recording producer, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash 424recorded. So check it out if you want to support a 424 recording on a monthly basis. There's a bunch of different rewards. Yeah, I'm always looking to make that better and a, and a more value-oriented site for people who want a little bit more from the channel or just want to support the channel. So I appreciate everybody who's my patron and uh, I hope to do more videos from patrons like Catface. All right, I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop. Don't forget to do something you want to do today. Godspeed, my friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will catch you on the flip-flop. I think I said that already, but peace.